The Great White North, or as most know it, Canada, is a country characterized by many things. Its welcoming charm, the friendliness of its citizens, and then, of course, its stunning beauty. It's not often that the word dangerous comes up in conversations about this country. Yes, some danger lurks within its city's streets, but what even constitutes danger in a peace-loving place like Canada? If you're shaking your head at the idea, let's put this burning issue to rest. One of the most enticing facts about Canada is that it's one of the safest countries in the world. But, sadly, just like in many other countries, crime is prevalent. But enough with the fear-mongering. Let's have a look at the top 12 worst places to live in Canada. Brampton, Ontario. This large city has over 4,000 acres of parkland and outdoor recreational space. It's also home to the Peel Art Gallery and the Rose Theatre for Performing Arts. Though violent crimes like homicide and armed robbery are rare in Brampton, this college town with a population of 656,000 does have its share of other illegal activities. The overall crime rate of 54.9 per 100,000 people, and most crimes are related to drug use and dealing. As with most college towns, there are a lot of reports of fights and disorderly conduct near Sheridan College. Vandalism and muggings are also fairly regular occurrences. If you ever visit Brampton, do not flaunt money or jewelry and don't interact with strangers on the street. Winnipeg, Manitoba. The capital of Manitoba, Winnipeg, has a population of 753,700 people. The city is rich with historical buildings, architecture, and museums. If you decide to visit Winnipeg, you'll never be at a loss for things to do. Between cultural festivals, casinos, professional hockey, and outdoor activities like skating and skiing, you're sure to be kept busy. But during that visit, use caution. Winnipeg has an overall crime rate of 58.9 crimes per 100,000 people, as well as the two end highest murder rate in Canada. Last year, there were 43 murders, though most were drug and gang related and there was no threat to the general public. Crimes that are regular occurrences in Winnipeg include muggings, robberies, and assaults. Kelowna, British Columbia. Kelowna is one of the communities in British Columbia that is seeing the most rapid growth. It is well known for its pleasant weather, its assortment of vineyards, and its opportunities for outdoor sports. Within the previous 10 years, a significant number of the 222,000 residents have relocated there. The significant increase in population has been accompanied by an increase in criminal activity. There is currently the highest crime rate in the province of Kelowna, which is also the fourth highest in all of Canada. A crime index of 61 offenses per 100,000 residents is the current situation. There is a significant amount of criminal activity that is associated with the possession, distribution, and production of opioids. Those who live there and those who come to visit should be on the lookout for attacks, car thefts, and robberies. Salt St. Marie, Ontario. Although the local authority denies it, there is no doubt that the rate of criminal activity has skyrocketed in this relatively tiny town of 72,051 people over the course of the past few years. From the year 2020 to the year 2021, the number of killings in Salt St. Marie, which is a significant port of entry into the United States, increased from two to four. In addition, the number of robberies increased by 37% during that period of time, moving from 81 to 111 every year. Additionally, throughout that time period, there was a 22% increase in the amount of theft that occurred in the city. There were 2,225 thefts in 2022, including thefts of autos. Despite the fact that the city is home to some breathtaking water rapids that flow along the St. Mary River, visitors should exercise caution when they are there. Your vehicle should be locked, and you should not leave any valuables inside. Sudbury, Ontario. Sudbury was once a significant mining town, but it has since evolved into a major hub for commerce, banking, and tourism in the Ontario region. In addition, they have the fourth highest homicide rate in all of Canada, which is quite unfortunate. Additionally, they are ranked first in Ontario for violent crimes and third overall in terms of overall crime. 60 crimes are committed for every 100,000 individuals in their population. There were a total of 2,489 violent crimes, 
including aggravated assault, armed robbery, and 12 murders, despite the fact that there has been a drop in the number of minor and low-level offenses. To a large extent, these violent offenses are connected to gangs and drug trafficking. When visiting, visitors are strongly encouraged to exercise caution, remain in locations with a high population density, and avoid interacting with outsiders. Surrey, British Columbia. Surrey, which is situated close to Vancouver, has a population of 518,500 people. Despite the fact that Surrey has a crime rate of 64.5 per 100,000 residents, the city has always been considered to be a decent location to live. The city continues to struggle with the issue of drugs, which in turn leads to various types of criminal activity such as muggings, robberies, car thefts, and assaults. There is a 31.5% contribution from violent crime to the overall crime rate. The most common concerns expressed by locals are that their vehicle will be broken into or stolen, as well as the possibility that their home will be broken into. Red Deer, Alberta. In addition to being home to a number of oil firms and the Alberta Sports Hall of Fame, Red Deer is also home to 103,500 people. Even if there are a lot of outdoor activities that visitors can enjoy in Red Deer, they should be careful because the city has a high crime rate, which is 61.7 crimes committed for every 100,000 residents. Among the offenses that are reported the most frequently are drug use, drug dealing, assault, and armed robbery. Corruption and bribery are also issues that plague the government of Red Deer, which is another trouble spot. Hamilton, Ontario. With a population of just over 570,000, Hamilton has a lovely balance of forested and urban areas. The trails, parks, and waterfalls make it a great place for nature lovers. The vibrant downtown offers museums, art galleries, shopping, and some great restaurants. The overall crime rate in Hamilton is 54.6 per 100,000 residents. Last year, there were five homicides, which is extremely low for a city of its size. However, crimes like vandalism, theft, muggings, and robberies are quite prevalent in Hamilton. Most of these are due to the drug problem that plagues the city. Last year, 2022, Ontario City saw over 827 opioid overdoses and 100 deaths in the first half of the year alone. When visiting Hamilton, visitors should stay in a group and be careful when going out at night. Oshawa, Ontario. The city of Oshawa, which has a population of 175,000 people, was formerly referred to as the car capital of Canada. At the present time, it is more commonly recognized as a center for post-secondary education as it is home to a number of schools and universities, one of which is the Ontario Technology University. In Oshawa, the overall crime rate is 55.8 individuals per 100,000 residents. Vandalism, minor theft, simple assault, and smash and grabs are some of the crimes that constitute the majority of these offenses, which are all caused by the use of narcotics. Within the city in the year 2022, there were a total of 15 homicides. When you go to Oshawa, it is strongly suggested that you do not bring huge sums of money with you or wear jewelry that is exceptionally expensive, 